So looking at the 2002-2003 fuel filter. This is obviously our line from the tank. This is our line going out to the high pressure or the low pressure fuel pump. This is a draw system, a vacuum. It, it sucks it up to that first low pressure fuel pump. And this is the return line coming down, returns warmed fuel into the filter for recirculation and also exits fuel on back to the tank return. So we're gonna pull these two lines right here, the tank and the return and insert our own small tank right there. this thing off of it so I can get it out of the bracket which this is some kind of a drain so yeah it's leaking a little bit of diesel on the floor there it goes how about that now we got one more hose clamp and we're gonna rotate this about that much and pop she comes out Pop, pop. Pop, pop. Liqui moly. They like to call it liqui moly. I think that one L means moly, but that's just me. Do not eat, do not chew, do not drink. And don't smell, it's not very good. Kind of like crayons. Oh. <laughs> crayons? Mean crayons! Whiskey crayons! <laughs> I haven't done this before either, so, you know. Makes it really hard for me to tell you what's going to happen and how to do it. Well, I know that. I'm not sure, I just... I know, yeah, that's a stupid freaking experience thing the old man keeps talking about. Sorry. Okay. I, I wish I could teach you experience. You can put a pin in that. We'll just see how easy it is to get it back out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's cute too. <laughs> put a pin Raised in a that. Good one. <laughs> put a pin in that. Gotcha. <laughs> Loud and clear, sister. <laughs> All right, look at that. The, those two hoses kind of hold the can up. Oh, Let's boy. see if that holds up while the engine starts. Yeah, I'm not end up with a crushed can. Well, it's kind of romantic. It's like sharing a milkshake with itself. Crush it. We go zoom zoom. We hope it starts. We hope it starts. Come on, baby. Kick over there. <laughs> Whoa, turn off. Well, now. We definitely had flow right away. I could see it in the line. And we got pressure pretty quick because it blew the thing off. Apparently I didn't put that on right. Uh -oh. uh, this clip here is broken. That clip there is broken and probably just glued in there. So we're not going to screw with that anymore. That's what the stuff was I was flaking off of here. It was probably the glue holding it in. So we're not going to screw with that anymore. We put these tie wraps on it to keep it from popping off next time the van starts. We'll probably have to get face some new hoses here eventually. But uh, this will do the job while she starts it. Vroom vroom!
manufacture date 801, so that's what, August of 2001. So that means it's a 19 year old van. Of course, that's on the Molly. So I'm starting to see air bubbles flying through there. So we're going to add a little bit more fuel to the Molly. But anyhow, we're uh, diluting the molly just a little bit of diesel so that it doesn't die of starvation. And we use all the molly we can at as high of a concentrate as we can rather than just uh, dump it into a tank full of, full of uh, couple, last couple of tablespoons into a tank full of fuel. It isn't going to do diddly. But if we just dilute it a little bit like this, we use up every last drop. You need a fuel filter. This is the one I got for my O2. From Million Mile Sprinter, if I recall correctly. Indeed, Shout indeed. Shout out to our boy Joel, right? That's yes, him? that's him. Look at me go. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> I'm gonna turn it off, or we gotta fill this first? Well, kind of when you see more bubbles there. Right, sorry about that. Fill this still? No, yep, definitely gonna fill that still. You want to hold or pour? Then just go slow and let yeah, don't fill up the funnel. Okay, now I bet that filter will go in there a little bit better. We'll probably just edit that out. Okay. There we go. Ta-da! Everything's warm. Just enough to be frightening, not enough to hurt. It's like, ah, oh, that's kind of warm. Yeah, now that clear one we want to get on top. You want to put this hose clamp on before you put that hose on. Right. Because we had to take this clamp off. That metal block's hot. Yeah, it is. We had to take this hose clamp off so that we could put the thing in the molly. Molly. Boom. Damn this engine being warm. Alright, I think that's past the choke on the pipe. Can't really tell. I think so though. Yeah. Oh yeah, I feel the end of the end of the tube way back there, so end of the tube is way back here on this side so we're good with that probably could have turned that hose clamp the other way but that's all right that's the way it was that's the way it is and this one's hiding way up here awesome. boom and we don't want to forget to tighten up all of our hose clamps it doesn't have to be ridiculous tight. Just snug. Yeah, it's a low pressure system here. Please don't donate any blood. I see that screwdriver. Like your mother in a kitchen knife. This? It scares me. <laughs> that one's tight. That's hot. Careful. Yeah, I really loosened that one up trying to get it off. Sorry. So, no, I, I, I did that. Yeah. Oh. Made it worse. <laughs> so this, this one. So I'm glad I'm in here now because you'd have been turning that like, I don't think it's tightening. And you'd have been right. But yet. And then this one, oh, push it down good and hard while we wiggle it back and forth. That's all it took to get it out was a little wiggle. So I guess we started up again. Vroom vroom. Vroom vroom. Alright, 
pull in some air for it first. Yeah, definitely pull a little bit of air first because the thought dry was kind of rough. It's still a little bit rough though. Now all the air is out. I would say that was a successful uh, little filter change on no two screws. Complete with a molly flush. 20 minute run. You can say that was a breeze. <laughs> 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 